Now there was an interesting thread that I saw on Kotaku in action and it was about SJWs and why they always break people down into categories and groups rather than the people who make up those groups and identities. Basically they talk less about their characters and more about their groups and this kind of dehumanizes them and turns them into well as I as I like to call them to call it when they call people like me people of color turns into a statistic rather than as people and I'm glad that someone made the top observation because I thought I was the only one and I thought I'd weigh in with my own little thing I don't usually comment on Gotaku in action I just read it so I thought I'd say what I think of about it here basically I think He's right that they break characters down into basically groups because, you, you know, I mean, how else is this ideology going to run? It doesn't work on individuals, it doesn't, it doesn't work on, on people being judged on their character, but judged rather by their uh, race, gender, etc. I mean, why else do we have people like Marina shut up and the and the Young Turks talking about colour blindness being racist and a bad thing? You know, as if somehow not judging someone based on their gender or race is somehow a bad thing. Because it doesn't suit their worldview. It, it just doesn't fit that. It, it, the idea of the individual is a alien to them. And I don't think that's because they're cultural Marxists. Cultural Marxism means nothing. It's just a made up by this right wing guy so they can find some boogeyman after actual communists kind of faded into the background after the cold war these people aren't Marxists but that's besides the point anyway apart from that it's funny that they accuse us of objectifying pe women uh, you know men they, and gamers they, they accuse others of objectifying women making them out to be sex objects that they're the ones turning people into objects of political ideology and goals you know why do you think they these white upper class to middle class women and to a lesser extent men are always trying to speak on behalf of everyone who isn't white and male you know because because they 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 if it's because they're hypocrites that's why you know they, they're doing it because there's some, they have some grandiose sense of importance and that that there's ev there's always oppressors and the oppressed when really it's a lot more complicated than that, especially in the West. That very few people, as I said, I've said before, are actually oppressed, you know? Some people get it worse than others, but overall, I'd say not. And anyway, I'm running out of things to say, as I probably didn't think this through very much. But I'm glad to see that somebody else has noticed this, and I think I will cut this short. This has been Chairman Man 93 like a shared video. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later.